So in the last two videos, we presented two continuous bases in which we can work in uh, to solve uh, certain problems that arise in practice. Using that, we're going to translate uh, the abstract Schrodinger equation that was presented in postulate six in the position basis. You can express, uh, express that in the momentum basis as well, but we won't go through that. So postulate six said that the time evolution of the state of a quantum mechanical system followed the time dependent Schrodinger equation that we expressed like this, where H hat is the Hamiltonian. Uh, the Hamiltonian generally has two parts, a kinetic energy operator and a potential energy operator. And by analogy to classical mechanics, we can express the kinetic energy as the square momentum over 2m. And uh, the potential energy operator, you can think of it as a function of the position operator. So we would like to express this equation in the position basis. And we know that to do that, we're going to need to deal with quantities that look like that. Uh, the inner product of uh, the position eigenfunction with the state of our system. So we're going to start from here and operate on both sides uh, with a bra of x. Okay, so that's the left hand side. And this is on the right hand side. Because this is uh, an operator, you can bring it out. And it'll uh, operate on this quantity. And then we can break up the Hamiltonian into its kinetic energy and potential energy components. This we know by definition is the position space wave function. So we have this on the right hand side. Uh, this we know from the last video what the momentum operator uh, is represented as in the position basis. And this should be a second partial derivative with respect to x. And this is because p was equal to that. For this one, you can think of this as an eigenvalue equation where this operator is acting on the breadth, on the broth, because this has to be a Hermitian operator. Uh, you still get real eigenvalues. And we'll represent the eigenvalue by V of X. So this is a real eigenvalue of B X acting on X. And both of these quantities are just our position space wave function representations. So what we're left with
is the following. Okay, so this is uh, the Schrodinger equation expressed in the position basis. So time dependent Schrodinger equation in the position basis. And this is uh, the form that we'll use the most extensively throughout this course. Okay. 